holidays yeah slept late went to a lovely dinner last night was the food was so amazing um just love the food in dubai okay i can see some of your questions coming in how to overcome your fear of rejection in an interview also how to build confidence mahar sunali 237 actually this question more belongs to my brother who is actually a career coach but i'm going to anyway try to answer it i think the most important thing to know is that the job that is looking that you are looking for is also looking for you so if you are thinking only you are looking for a job let me tell you owners of businesses are looking for good people all the time the problem is the good people we don't know where to find them so one of the things if you can start to keep in your mind every time you're entering is as badly as you need the job that badly they are looking for the right people once you do that you you realize that there's a match in desperation rather than you thinking that you know what they have so many options it looks like they have a lot of options but the real truth is the right candidate for the right job is always a hard thing to find so that's one of the mindsets you can have secondly how to how to get over the fear of rejection i had learned this very beautiful um i don't know what to call it mantra from a little girl who had spoken about it and she used to say s w s w s w s w which means someone will someone won't so what someone's waiting and i think for her she was a girl scout cookie and she uh, girl scout cookie seller and she used to knock on people's doors and they used to say how do you handle your rejection she said i know someone will 
someone won't so what someone's waiting and i think if you have that attitude that you know what someone's waiting for you there is that perfect match between you and the interviewer or the inter the job that you're looking for okay also how to build confidence i think very important is that when you end the interview you ask a couple of question that shows them that you are really the right candidate for this job you know when you ask questions like instead of just finishing the interview with them asking the questions i always feel like if you land up asking like where do you see me 6 months from now what are those three qualities that you think i will need to learn for this job for me to do a fabulous job what would it take for me to be um, a superstar in this job what are your expect stations all of this conversation if you start to ask the kind of questions which which the interviewer starts to feel like your desire to perform world class is amazing i feel like that always is a confidence building close i love it when people who come in to uh, be interviewed by me when they start to ask me what what would it take you know what do you think i need to do learn be show up as all of these are brilliant questions because it shows the what do we tend to do is a lot of times in interviews we tend to ask what's going to be my salary what's going to be my timings what's going to be which shows you're running away from the job rather i think the most beautiful thing you can give to the interviewer is when they start to see you're running towards the job so see if any of this helps you in any way of course this is not my expertise i have just I've never uh, really uh, gone for a job interview in my entire life so you can see I have no real experience around it. Devika wins. In certain situations I find it hard to hold my tears in front of people. I feel so embarrassed. How should I control my emotions especially in public? Devika, you know how I'm going to answer this question may not be the exact way that you would want it answered but I'm just going to tell you very openly in a world that has stopped feeling emotions in a world that has stopped expressing authenticity and vulnerability you are a gift so don't try to change yourself to fit in my darling that's my advice to you today i am i cry at a drop of a hat if i even just i cry in movies i cry if i see a sad person i cry with my clients both of us will be using the tissue and that in no way means that i'm not competent enough to help them But you know what? I I have an extremely sensitive heart, and I'm super proud of it. I feel like this world would have been so much better a place had we not what they call manned up. You know, become that strong person who doesn't feel the emotion. Why? Why should we become that strong person when a poor person knocks on my window in the on in my car? I want to be able to help them. If I can do something, why not? If my heart has that emotion that I want to help everybody, why will I deprive myself of that? And why should I hold my tears back? If someone's acting nasty or mean, let them see what they are doing to me. And you know, one of my favorite sentences to say to nasty people is, "That's hurting me." They don't know how to handle these kind of sentences. They are okay with you laughing it off. They are okay with you, you know, keeping quiet and taking the insult. What they are not okay with is you actually addressing it. So when you say that's hurting me, oh, that was a rude thing to say. Oh my God, that pained me. I'm telling you, that's one of the best ways to handle people who don't know how to speak with you. And you know, you just you can just start to say, look, I'm extremely sensitive to loud voice. when you start speaking or shouting at me i get um, you know perturbed or i get intimidated or i don't like it or i'm very sensitive to loud voice can you please speak to me calmly i will listen to what you have to say only if you speak to me calmly otherwise i shut down my ears shut down and you know when you address the person in that manner then your tears will not feel now whatever your reason of tears are your reason of tears is because you're seeing something that is making you feel sensitive are you hearing something that's making you feel sensitive is someone misbehaving with you whatever your reason of tears are i want you to own your tears like as if in a world which has stopped crying we are still the people who still feel something so just love yourself for who that for who you are dancing along with you love that all my enlightenment ladies that's your beauty now na Visaria Dentistry my life has changed thanks to you Pooja you can't believe how grateful i am to you and the courses that you've designed i have been part of most of them love you god bless you and your family oh my god what a beautiful message 
early in the morning. Thank you, Visaria. That's very kind of you. Saubana, Saubana, Saubana to my entire tribe. Kanika saying, I'm in Dubai too. Lovely. Vidya speaks. Hi, beautiful Pooja. Geeta Ramachandran here. Hi, Geeta. Subhash Rivti. Ma'am, I want to start coaching but just confused where to start by Instagram reels or make enough followers or just start or just start on the go. My dear darling Subhash Rivti, you're going to have to do it all. Okay, so don't think that there's only going to be one way to start. I think you have to do reels also. Uh, you have to create followers also. You have to just start on the go also. I always say marketing is like a bucket. And you have to open all the taps for you to start to get a consistent income. If you're thinking any one tap is going to fill up your bu fill up your bucket, doesn't work like that, darling. I have to do Instagram also, YouTube also, Insta Live also, uh, free masterclasses also, paid masterclasses also. I don't know. Like we are marketing all the time, podcast also, so much. And the more you do, the more your bucket fills up, the bigger your numbers. In the beginning, it will all feel like nothing is converting, nothing is changing nothing's happening the real truth is you are building a library of credibility so in the beginning don't look for conversions look for putting out enough content that eventually if someone goes to your page they should go hey itne saal se aur itne mahino se this lady was here putting such fabulous things and i never got to know about her how come that's the feeling your uh, followers have to start to get, which is why they will follow you. So if you're thinking by putting three posts, four posts, five posts, you're going to start to get followers, doesn't work. 90 days of without looking at any result, keep posting, keep posting, keep posting. Consistency is key here, okay? Be consistent, be consistent, be consistent. Slowly and steadily, people will start to invite people to your room. You, As you keep adding value, things will start to change. What's up? Just enjoying and relaxing in Dubai. That's what's up right now. Just very easy, relaxed day I have today for a change after a very long time. Just one meeting after this, then I'm done. Good morning, Anita. Souls passing. Good morning, Pooja. So looking forward to hearing you today. I love that. Okay. So sweet. Have been following you. Please tell us how to join your coaching program. There's a phone number by Gunjan the Dreamer underneath this video always or go back to any of my Insta Live videos. You'll see a phone number. Give her a call and she'll enroll you. For all of you in this room who are wanting and desiring to become coaches, I'm looking forward to having you, my sweethearts. And for those of you who haven't enrolled into Awakening, yet please it is happening this friday sorry this saturday and sunday so i'm going to request you my link is in the bio go press the link and enroll today that may be at a cost of 999 rupees i highly recommend it i can tell you it is worth a lot more this is our deal for the year ending so you are really blessed because all this while it was either for 9999 or for i don't like to sell on my insta post but you know by chance it's happening this weekend so if you haven't yet signed up just i'm not joking you will end your year at your highest high okay Thank you for all the compliments. God bless you. The child kingdom nagar. How to handle when your close relationships ignore by not even inviting you for a big occasion. Any time in life somebody disappoints you, there are three ways you can handle this disappointment. One is to accept it and realize they've moved on or, you know... Um, Maybe you had not invited them earlier or maybe they don't want to be in touch with you any longer. I don't know what the reason would be. But for you to just accept the fact that, you know what, they've chosen not to and there's nothing you can do about it. The second one is to confront. Okay. You can actually pick up the phone and say, hey, I think you missed inviting me for your party. Is there anything wrong? Did I do something? Have You know, is there something that's happened between us? Normally, you're not the kind to forget to invite me. And you can become very casual yet. You know, you can let them know that it hurts or, you know, just address it. And last is to remove this person. Okay, so accept, confront or remove. You realize that, you know what, it's time to move on from them because they don't value you in any place where you're not valued or you're a second option. You don't want to be there. 
Oh, Chia saying, I put on my crown this morning. Fabulous, Chia. So proud of you, darling. What's the secret to your good skin? <laughs> filter. Every time I come on my Insta live, I'm using some filter where I myself will be looking at my skin and going, wow. Now, if you meet me in real life, I have good skin, but I don't have fabulous skin like the one that filter gives you. Correct or no? So I just want all of you here to know that in the world that we live in, when we see anybody on the cover of some magazine or we see people on Instagram or we see people, we have to know that everything these days is being touched up. And that no one in reality looks this way. Today's filter, I don't know which one I've used. I can't remember. But it had this very nice brown tinge to it. So if you can see, there's a brown. If I put my hand in front, you may be able to tell. No. But it's got a brownish feel to it. And because I was going to wear a brown top, I chose it. And um, yeah, so... <laughs> Otherwise, of course, I have a very solid morning routine and a very solid evening routine. I'm, I love um, using creams on my face. I love doing things. So I'm someone who actually uses her skincare routine as meditation. The reason why I'm very particular about removing my makeup and sleeping, using all of the stuff that my dermatologist highly recommends, using the SPF that I did not even know about till I'm turned 40. So you can imagine how late I am in the SPF game. Uh, but now I've become extra particular. You know, one of the things that happens with age is you don't, you're not left with a choice. Earlier on, you could take your skin for granted and it still treated you right. Today, even if one day I take my skin for granted, I can the next day tell how it feels just doesn't feel right. So age is something that makes you want to, you know, work with your skin because there is complete deterioration happening at fast speed, especially after the age of 40. Priyanka, the life designer. Love you, Pooja. Love you, Priyanka. Kaveri, Pooja, how to forgive the ones who wronged, tried so many times to forgive in meditation, but... Sorry, there's no continuation to it, but... You know what? Forgiveness is a choice that you need to make to go back to your inner peace. So... The more number of times we relive something, the more number of times we have given power to that person who hurt us. And one of the things that happens is hurt goes and settles down in the deepest part of our emotional vessel. So even removing it is a very hard thing. So it's a personal choice that you have to make that you know what, I choose to forgive this person. And then you have to come up with a reason why. Why do you choose to forgive this person? So the reasons I tend to give myself is if they knew better, they would have done better. Pooja, you've spent a lot of money in evolving. Other people haven't. So they are still ordinary. And if they're going to be ordinary, you cannot expect an evolved reaction from an ordinary person. Correct? And another thing I say is, you know what, if um, they are doing the best that they can with the limited experience, knowledge, understanding, education that they have, you know, and hurt people, hurt people. If someone is hurting inside, it's going to come out. You know how many times we have gotten hurt by someone and come back and removed it on our family. So hurt people, hurt people. Look for ways that you can justify to your mind why this person is has hurt you and what how can you let that go now letting go does not mean that you will start to trust the person again letting go does not mean they deserve a second chance letting go does not mean anything but that you are going to return to your inner peace a lot of time we we kind of um you know think of forgiveness and bringing the person back into our life as the same thing that if we forgive then they must return to the pedestal that we had put them on absolutely not you can completely forgive them but choose not to forget it because you know what there was a certain way they made you feel and you never want to experience that forgiveness is just that you're not going to carry that poison anymore you're not going to rethink that situation again and again you're going to let it go you're going to let that person get out of your brain mind heart soul wherever it is they are sitting and a lot of times when someone's hurt us they've pretty much taken over the entire inside of ourselves you know in the shower we are thinking about them in the pot we are thinking about them in the when we're sitting alone we are thinking about them so it hurt is a very deep emotion so I want you to really make a conscious choice today if you can that you know what 
just because i'm forgiving them doesn't mean i'm giving them permission to do it again doesn't mean i want to bring them back into my life trust has to be earned trust has to be earned while forgiveness is a gift we give to ourselves so see if you're willing to put yourself in priority and say you know what i deserve inner peace and if you can give it that twist and try forgiving okay how to deal with a controlling mother you know what my teacher recently i was talking to larry for those of you who know larry um and he said something very beautiful he said all parents are master manipulators and he wasn't excluding anyone in it he wants us to know that with every parent the one of the reasons why i never coach my children is because i know that i have personal agendas with them there's a certain way i would like them to be while when i'm a coach i'm very uh, very objective when you are a parent you're very subjective so when you have a mother who is very controlling you have to firstly understand that you have given her the permission to be so so one of the things that we have to learn as we grow up is learn to disappoint our parents remember we never disappoint our parents because they used to be our safety net as we were growing how can we disappoint the from the place from where we have to get our permissions from the place where we have to you know so what happened it's like that elephant who gets tied when he's a little child to a you know heavy metal chain and he keeps trying keeps trying keeps trying keeps trying to break it but he's not able to now he's a grown up massive elephant and all you need to do is tie a thin little rope around his uh leg and he doesn't even care to try anymore because he already has given up that thought and so one of the things as with parents especially we have to understand is that they are going to keep on projecting whatever their needs are from us and that need could be the need for them to feel proud of us the need for them to be for us to be obedient to them the need whatever the need is and at some point you have to say that you know what my needs are more important than their needs and that they are no longer my safety net and so therefore however they feel is theirs to feel i am not in charge of their emotions i am in charge of my own emotions and when we start to have this new conversation we start to build a a, a personality where we are okay being ourselves even if they are not okay with us and you know what it takes some time and a big heart or a big jigger to be able to do that but slowly and steadily what i see is then they come around once they see that you know what you are now on your own your wings have opened up and you are ready to fly and that they are actually controlling you in ways where you are not being allowed to fly when you do a couple of times disappoint them and go off flying and you come back maybe for some time you'll have to hear things against what you've done but the truth is over time they will start to respect you over time they will start to acknowledge it over time and if there is a little bit of emotional drama learn to deal with it okay because that's what uh, families do that's that you know that's how we control one another through the emotional drama of blackmail through the emotional drama of manipulation through the emotional drama of passive aggressive behavior through the emotional drama of so that's how it it works i believe till the time intentions are good the family can be kept together so overall ultimately each one must blossom at their own speed at their own in their own life it must happen and if you are sacrificing your blossoming so that your mama never gets upset with you i'm going to say try a different strategy darling otherwise by the end you'll feel very choked hmm? see how how you can use this information आपके खुले बाल बहुत अच्छे लगते हैं ऐसा लगता है ओ वन ऑफ दोज मैसेजेस आ ओके विशाल पांडे गॉड ब्लेस यू मै गॉड ब्लेस यू डॉक्टर सीमा मलिक आई मिस दुबई ओ यस नीना संजय भंडारी हाउ टू गेट मोर क्लाइंट्स एनी टिप्स यू नो व्हाट नीना one of the things when i'm asked this question i love answering is there are a million ways to get clients it's all about you waking up and having the courage to do a new strategy every day 
every day you have to start to look for a new strategy today when i go in the party i'm going to ask people to give me their email ids today i'm going to start a whatsapp challenge today i'm going to get in touch with all the forums and go speak there today i'm going to start to author a book to build my credibility today i'm going to keep an event of 20 people and do my first live today uh, live event uh, today i'm going to launch a new um, you know mini course today i'm going to every single day if you answer this question you're thinking that there's going to be this one strategy that is going to bring you the clients i'm going to say this a thousand times to every one of you there's no one strategy that brings clients you've got to try the facebook ads the instagrams the this the that the social media the non-social media people were asking me yesterday uh, can we try newspaper you can try everything and see what's working Okay, if your brochure is working, if some poster is working, if taking part in an exhibition is working. I remember at one point I used to have products and anytime in Chennai there was an exhibition, I used to go put my gratitude product, habit tracker and everything. One life by design counter with two of my girls there. Whatever it takes, if someone invited me for free, I would go and speak, speak, speak. Ke pata nahi, udhar se kaun client convert ho jayega. So in the beginning, it's always like that. Okay. Mansi Jayakar, how to detach from the person you have broken up with and want to move on? You know what Mansi, to me one of the most toughest things to do is to actually get over your previous relationship. Uh, there's a man called Matthew Hussey. I would love for you to start to follow him. Um, I love all of his conversation around single women, how to get over exes, how to... Um, he's got so much knowledge that instead of me trying to give it to you, I'm going to say a few things. Okay, one, loving yourself more than what you love the person is very very important so more than how much you love them how they treated you is what needs to be prioritized and had they treated you right you wouldn't be in this situation correct so you want to start to see that another thing is what was the lesson you needed to learn for why god sent this person into your life that's another thing that you need to work with um who the next person is going to be is going to be better than who you experienced last when you have that kind of faith and belief in your God, it's very helpful. Yeah. And if there is a part of you that is feeling a little revengeful, I always say, I want to go pick up that person that years later, this person should think, oh my God, I can't believe I lost her. You know, so I love, I use that as negative fuel and then, you know, use it in my life so if any of this works for you try it out but definitely go follow matthew hussey he's someone who's very good with uh, single women and relationships anita gupta is asking what is your idea of happiness honestly it keeps uh, evolving uh, i don't think i have one idea of happiness as such but i definitely believe that every morning happiness is a choice Okay, so every morning when I wake up and I'm, let's say, having a bad day or some news has come in that is not so great, I like to recover and return to my happiness. So my happiness and my inner peace are very deeply connected. So I connect a lot of my happiness is not as connected to my joy, which is where normally people will connect it. Happiness and joy is to be experiencing pleasure at different levels, right? While happiness and inner peace is a far more deeper emotion where just returning to inner peace makes you stabilize. The more stable, the more grounded, the more stronger, the more unshakable you feel, the more I feel connected to my happiness. So my happiness comes from a place of choice. My happiness is not something that Puneet is going to give me, my children are going to give me, my travel is going to give me. That's all joy for me. My happiness is I can be in the middle of kachra and still be okay with that. And that to me is pure happiness. So my ability to create circumstances within me which are greater than my circumstances outside is to me my superpower. So... I don't know. Did that make sense? Uh, Anita, tell me in the chat box if you are able to relate to what I'm saying. That, that, that's what happiness means to me right now. And honestly, if you ask me 
I don't know, in a month or two from now, I may give you a completely different definition because it's always evolving for me. I'll hear something from somewhere, I'll hear something from somewhere and I'll combine that and then I'll process it and I'll use it in my life. And I've seen that I tend to go with different versions of happiness in different moods. The days I'm PMSing, it's a different happiness con uh, conversation. But I do believe that happiness is your nuclear reactor which generates. It is not something you seek outside. That's one thing I've had clarity on now for almost 10 years. Mindful sights. My day just gets better after seeing you. That's too sweet. Divmin20144. How to stop getting angry at children? So Divmin, on that I will give you at least two, three things that I'd like you to think about. Firstly, children are how old? And we are how old? We are good 20, 25 years older to our children. We want them to behave a certain way while we have no control over our own behavior. So don't you think to role model to our children that they need to be a certain way. First, we have to become that. Why is it that we are allowed to lose our cool but they are not allowed to misbehave? So we are allowed anything. We are not able to control ourselves emotionally but a 3-year-old, 4-year-old, 5-year-old, 10-year-old must know how to behave. I feel that is such a wrong, hypocrite way of thinking. For me, if I lose my anger on my children, I am apologetic about it that you know what, mom should have known better. Mom should have, my children will literally tell you, I may have screamed at my children three times in their entire journey of turning 22 and 18. I mean, I can't even remember. I'm just putting that maybe unko yaad hai, but I don't even remember. And that one of the reasons is I said, you know what? One, the culture in my house should not be of loud voice. I don't want them to see me and Puneet speaking to each other disrespectfully. I don't want to speak to them disrespectfully. I don't want them to speak to me disrespectfully. My children, I can't think of any time when they have screamed, but even if they did, I would have told them, please go to your room. When you are in a better state, come back and speak with me. Okay, but I can't remember. I don't think so. So I just, what I'm trying to show you is, it is all about the mindset that you set. One is a culture of your house. One is you starting to be the role model of what you would like them to be like. And thirdly, I read this sentence somewhere or I created it. I have no idea. I don't, like to express my anger i like to explain my anger and this is something i've tried to practice over the years so whenever i start to get angry i actually sit people down and the most important part of that conversation is that i tell them i am angry i don't show them that i'm angry so instead of making my voice go up or me losing all of my emotional stability i like to take my time to return to emotional equilibrium so that I'm able to have that conversation. And the reason why I'm giving you my personal example here, Divmin, is only because this is one of those topics that's really close to my heart that I have personally worked very hard on. I was very sure as I was raising my children that I wanted them to see a different world where emotions are far more important than mechanics. And I learned this from Dr. Shifali Sabari. Um, she's a lovely parenting coach and she has a book called Conscious Parenting. And she always speaks about how your children are a gift to you for you to be able to see in yourself what is still lacking. So children and staff are two people who are at the mercy of your behavior you can do whatever you like and there isn't much consequence even if you hit your child even if you abuse your child even if you get angry with your child guess what there isn't any consequence as such because no one else from outside is going to come and reprimand you yes there's a consequence for life but there isn't a consequence at that point right and so what we tend to do is we who are emotionally wounded adults we leak on our children so today onwards, I would love for you to start to write a new uh, letter 
to yourself every single day in regard to your anger so see if you can start to develop a maturity around anger where you start to go you know what dear anger next time you visit me i am going to have you in control i am not going to let you lose you are not going to take over my mind i am not a slave to my emotions my emotions have to learn to be obedient to me and those kind of conversations where you start to practice literally before you enter your child's room i want you to say 30 seconds of i don't know where i learned this but it was some sort of a parenting tip where they said you whatever you want to say to your child in a derogatory manner do it in within 30 seconds and i remember puneet and i started to practice it and there was a time when we thought 30 seconds also was too long to be actually accusing and being derogatory towards someone he said pooja please i can't take your 30 seconds 15 seconds is more than enough so imagine that's how sensitive we all are as human beings and over the years i see us just going on a you know rampage of when i see a mother losing it with her children what i see actually is a wounded scarred woman i don't see the problem in the child at all what can a 4 year old or a 5 year old in their life do for the mother to lose it like this true so i think learning to become emotionally i wish we were all taught emotions in school i wish we were all and that's one of the reasons why i would love for you to come for awakening because we take every emotion and process it whether for your spouse or for your family or for your children at every level when you start to turn goddess like it will change everything you know so i'm one of the things i take a lot of pride in is not hitting my children not screaming at my children always trying to have polite respectful conversation i can still be very very firm please don't doubt my that my not expressing anger in any way is weak trust me when i say this it is not weak from any angle it is just extremely firm but extremely respectful because the dignity of their soul to me is 10 times more important than the mechanics of life mechanics is brush kiya uh, nahaya uh, night suit pehna kapde badle tiffin ko kitchen mein dala those are all the things on which we tend to shout if we actually emotionally respect the child then we will actually ask them what happened why didn't you do it why didn't you do this why didn't you do that from tomorrow can you do it i like to set choices and consequences okay from tomorrow if you don't put your kitchen uh, tiffin box in the kitchen beta then this is what will you will not be allowed to watch tv till the time you have not put it so much easier a conversation where they decide now do they want to put or not automatically if they want to watch tv they will put it na so i'm training the child through choices and consequences rather than training them through constant you know and why i know that i did a job like this is because recently when my both my boys started to live together one of the things that my younger one was doing the older one was not so happy with you know what he messaged me he said mom i don't want to nag him i don't want to get angry with him can you tell me what can i do can you give me some parenting tips to manage this aspect and within a day that whole problem was solved i was thinking like oh god this year is going to be crazy handling both of them living in the same house touch wood it's been phenomenal for the simple reason that they also use the same philosophy now that i have used with them so it's pretty so i hope somewhere along the way you can start to go you know what my and my children deserve a better version of me hai na gitanjali katyal how to deal with husband if you went through bad relationship phase and after baby and feel that he might have cheated you and now things are better but you're not able to trust and forgive because he's still in touch with the other girl so gitanjali if he is still in touch with the other girl it is not your job to trust because you cannot trust a man who is continuing to still choose to be with someone on because of which you've lost trust okay so i always say when someone cheats on you how they respond decides your response it's not how great you are that you must forgive but the other person continues to do what they like no it doesn't work like that if they are in apology mode if they are willing to gain back the trust if they are valuing you enough then you know that they are you know you can uh, start to look at how you can trust them again but if he's still in touch with that girl and he's still you know doing all those things where 
you are here busy with his baby and yours but and he is busy doing whatever he wants to then it's a very different conversation and you know the problem with being in a patriarchal society is there's no price for them to pay we are not going anywhere for most of us we don't have enough finances uh, we we are econ- economically dependent we are being provided for going back to our parents the father will land up controlling being with my husband he's landing up controlling so i'm going to only say one thing to all such women that come to my tribe we have to start to make ourselves stronger financially we have to the day we become financially stronger trust me either these things will stop happening because they will value us more or we will be able to move on to the right person at some point either which ways when we don't have a choice in our own life people will land up showing us who they are and if they really are not our level our standard we will have to compromise or just and tolerate in such a great manner that our entire soul will feel so cheated you know so my dear darling gitanjali it's 2022 ending 2024 by 2024 either come join become part of my tribe and start to gain your way of confidence to earn money and uh, work on your competency to start to be someone or join anyone whoever you like but you need to go through 700 days of building your own identity your financial independence to get the respect that you deserve when a lot of people ask me pooja why do you work so hard one of the reasons can i tell you very honestly is i don't want to be in a position where i don't have a choice if i have to walk out i should be able to walk out if i have want to stay that also should be a choice whatever i land up doing should be a choice in my life and not because i have to not because i have to because of society not because i have to because of money and not because i have to because of the little children i i don't want anything else to be a reason and all of us women today i'm going to say need to take a pledge that we are no longer going to be our freedom has to become our motto that our freedom we choose everything is a choice choice to stay choice to leave choice to you know and of course i'm thinking of making wise choices but it must be a choice so gitanjali my sweetheart i don't think you can trust him till the time he doesn't earn it back you can forgive him but what's the point of forgiving him if he's going to continue to do the same then every day you're only going to land up forgiving so instead of focusing on him for on you forgiving him or focusing on you trusting him i'm going to ask you shift all of your focus on who you are becoming and become so amazing that either he starts to value you so much that he doesn't even care about the other lady or become that lady that you know what where you can start to go my children deserve better my baby deserves better i deserve better i'm sorry we are moving on in the mind alley if there are generations of angry parents in the house what can be done cause in a joint family it's not possible to choose your per- personal preference i think what you can do is you can start to protect yourself yeah so if there are generations of angry parents where you are seeing a lot of anger being we cannot expect the older generation to change now i think they've left led their life a certain way and that may or may not have worked for them but they've done it any which ways but you can start to look at that and instead of becoming that you can learn from who you who you see is who you don't want to become and i always say this god always gives us children an option when we see what we see and by the grace of god i have lovely parents god bless my babe my my gorgeous mom and dad but um i want to really say this that you know what when sometimes i'm looking at my parents i'm actually looking at something i don't want to become you know my mom has a certain relationship with uh, money that i chose not to have i have a certain relationship with money now that my children may choose not to have so it all depends on we are going to leave some scars for the children to work with so if you have a family of lot of anger maybe that's what's going to take you towards your peace and calm because you're realizing this to definitely doesn't look who i want to become let me start to choose who i do want to become and when you start to respond differently to them you will start to see that even though they are different with different people they'll be different with you
some of the questions i'm not able to understand so i'm not going to try answer how to increase my imq i don't know what that means dear is awakening an offline program no it's an online program it goes from two it goes for two days 9 to 6 9 to 6 this coming weekend पानी पी लो चेज प्लीज रिपीट द बुक ऑन पेरेंटिंग कॉन्शियस पेरेंटिंग बाय डॉक्टर शिफाली सबारी ऑल राइट ऑन दैट नोट वेरी क्विकली लेट मी रीड आउट ऑल द विनर्स ऑफ लास्ट वीक्स चैलेंज if you came for the insta live or if you came and put up the stories where you tagged me and put the takeaway then you have just one one more week of uh being together let me very quickly read it out so the participants of the week were gauri 1811 ship Bahar 1985 Nisa QR E Cafe Designer Priyanka Bhargavi Arjun Jagannath Ranganathan Reset with Rakhi Ranjana Harihar Aditi Ashish Kumar Innovative Tarot Trupti Varshu KVVK Sharanya Harleen Kaur Devika Wins Shweta Daipan uh, Life of Being Snakeated Lakshmi Ravi Shankar Official Deepika Khattar Shreemukh 2007 Dr Alifia Lada Lada Wala लकदा वाला सॉरी फॉर प्रोनाउंसिंग इट रॉन्ग मोनामिकास बेक्स रुचि चौहान साई सुविता शमन जीत विवेक व संता नेहा करण सकीना शेख इमेज बाय डिजाइन कंसल्टेंसी स्पार्कलिंग सोल्स हील्स गार्गी आर्या 2007 अंशु केवीएम उज्ज्वला माधवी 15 स्पिन व्हील विद इतिशा एंड अनीता गुप्ता ऑफिशियल 35 ऑफ यू व्हेन आई रीड दीस नेम्स इटसेल्फ आई नो हाउ fabulously close i feel to you just because i know you personally just through your names so thank you for making that happen continue to do what you do which is so wonderful where you take the photo you put it on your story you tag me as well as you put your takeaways and my god some of you the kind of effort you put in the kind of posts you create i am super duper impressed i have to say winners this week oops it went off yeah we have debas underscore mita mitab debas mitab we have yoga happiness hub and we have shalini arora coacher underscore monaco so debas yoga happiness hub and shalini super congratulations my team will be getting in touch with you for getting your address you are going to be receiving my book unlocking the golden cage for having participated and for all of you others who are continuing to participate remember we are going to have a live we are going to have a live meeting to nahi hoga but it will be a zoom live meeting where i would love to get to know you more um at least once in 3 months that's the plan so if you do these 12 consecutive sharings on your story we are going to make sure you are invited for the date with pooja as we like to call it so thank you thank you thank you on that note let's quickly get our picture done for today let me pause cheers हो गया एनी अदर पोज यू वॉन्ट मी एंड माई पोज इज ऑल राइट एंड टू ऑल द फालतू पीपल इन द रूम हु आर आस्किंग क्रेजी क्वेश्चन यू नो वॉट it doesn't matter to me at all and it doesn't matter to my tribe we are very used to handling distractions so all of the kachra that you put in the chat box is for you to keep buddha or somebody said ki if you don't accept a gift who does it belong to the one who's giving it right so i'm just going to say you can continue to do this here and everywhere else keep spreading the kachra i'm going to keep on cleaning the kachra in some form or the other and now the beauty is my tribe is way beyond all of you so we are not going to be reacting to any of it you can't make 
देम ऑ मी एंग्री और अपसेट वी कैन ओनली सेंड यू ब्लेसिंग्स के भगवान जी मे समथिंग रियल कम इन टू योर लाइफ दैट इज सो मीनिंगफुल दैट यू स्टॉप डूइंग ऑल ऑफ दिस रबिश ठीक है Hey, let me go right to the bottom. What is participation? Oh, anybody who participates, which is basically you taking my picture, putting it on your story, putting your biggest takeaway from today's Insta Live, and tagging me. You do these three steps, then you are a uh, become a participant. And if you collect enough twelve wins over twelve weeks, then you get to come on a date. With Pooja, which will be on Zoom. Okay. I love the way you read. अच्छा उसमें भी कुछ होता है. Oh, अच्छा अच्छा the list I read. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. Oh. Pooja, I do it every time, but nowadays story doesn't come back. Yeah, that I'm going to thank you, Kaveri, for bringing that up. I want you to know if I'm not able to share your story, even if you create your story, but your settings are such that I'm not able to share your story, then you don't get counted in my uh, list. Okay. So please go and readjust your story settings. Please, please, please. Okay, I'm going to go right to the bottom, right to the bottom, right to the bottom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Awesome. What Wednesday are we on today? I'm just seeing. Next Wednesday it will be in the evening, mostly I think. Um, I'm going to go spend my day now. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming. Bless you too. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Woohoo. See you next week.